Hey everyone, it is your host here. That is right, it is Team Rai Now, how is everyone doing on this Sunday's edition? I am doing wonderful. Now, everyone out there, I have social media accounts. But don't worry, I'll discuss that later on in this video. Thank you very much for understanding. Now, I want you guys and gals to sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. It'll be strictly an article. Now, recently, W decided to get rid of these W superstars. Now, am I surprised? No. What's the point of bringing these wrestlers into the company if you're going to release them? That makes no sense. Now, I mentioned in the comments when, when this happened. To someone, I forgot who it was, I say they will bounce back. They will, but not with WWE, another wrestling company. But they have to wait until 90 days. Now, let's do a prediction. These people got released, and of course the female got released. What is the best fit for them? Do you think all of them will go to AEW? New Japan, or somewhere else? Let me know down below. I'm just curious. Do you think W made the right decision of releasing all these people or the bad decision? I want to hear your opinion. I think it was a great decision of releasing them because they're not going to get used anyway the correct way. So my will of releasing them. And now I don't know. If they ask for the release way before Mania season, you know, like in that time frame, because, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe it was a shock that you're going to release, you're going to release, and you're going to release, something like that. I'm assuming they had a meeting with Triple H, something like that. I don't know who's in charge, but it sucks. Or maybe they want to do it because it's spring cleaning. Who knows? There are going to be more people on this roster and the will get released. So it's not really a big shocking to me. It seems like it happens a lot. You know, but this is the first time no more McMahon, you know. So we should not be sorry for these people. It sucks. They're not with us anymore. But they don't, they don't give them good character at all. Maybe my, my, um, the guy who beat Randy Orton at 2017 Backlash, I was there, and he never got with the crowd with it. You know what I'm saying? So he never, or Capo Drew, sorry, he never retained gold since he returned to the company. I never did like him at all. I just don't like his, I just don't like him, you know? Maybe he will. Be good with another wrestling company, but in this one, no dice. Okay? Now, the other ones, I could care less. That one female one, I can't pronounce the name. I thought she's going to be very good in the women's division, but nope. I don't know when last time we saw her on television for a meaningful match. I hate when W brings these telling in, and then before you know it, Spring cleaning, and they had to go. They don't make it up. They just grew rid of them. Stupid. And probably the people who got released gets paid the less, I'm assuming. I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong. But, you know, it's kind of sad how how the beat works, you know? Are you surprised? I'd be really surprised if the top guys and the top females get released. That part, I will get get um shocked but we all know that will never 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 happen 
in his company. Never. And I don't even say never say never. I agree, but not the top of guys or the top females. No way in hell. Anyway, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below. Now, if you want to be part of our show, that's fine again. If not, don't worry about it. If so, the link will be always down below. Have a good night. See you tonight. Peace out.